Hey girls and boys, it's Mr. McAndrew. Um, so I want to show you just quickly what you'll be doing for practice today. Um, so your paper should say Monday place value practice. Okay, so the numbers below are in standard form. So we'll do the first one together. Okay, so that says 76,059. Right, it helps to say the number, that way it helps you to write the number. So 76,059. So you want to write it in word form. And it says you may use the words that are spelled out for you in the Google Slides. So in your Google Slides, you may notice that on the next slide, on the one, after the one that you were on here, um, it looks like, let me get out of the way here, looks like this, okay? So you've got all the words that you might need, including the teen numbers, um, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 1,000, million, uh, 1 through 10, 11, 12. So that should be very helpful, okay? Um, so, yeah, so what you'll do is, so I'll, I'll do the first one with you. Um, so it says 76,059. So I would write 70, okay? And if I'm not sure how to spell 70, I can go back to that slide. 70, I put a little hyphen in there, okay, 76,000. It only goes between the, the tens and the ones placed within a period, right? So 76,000, comma, just like there's a comma here. Now you'll notice there's no digit in the hundreds place. So there's no hundreds to write, it's just 59. So 76,059. Okay, and there's another hyphen. So you pretty much anytime you write the words 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, there's a hyphen that comes after it. Okay, whether it's 20 million, 20 billion, 20, um, 22, right? Um, sorry, let me give you a different example. If it was like 32 million, you put a hyphen. If it was 32,000, you put a hyphen. If it was just 32, you put a hyphen between the 30 and the 2. Okay? So there's three more problems here to do, to write out in words, okay? And at the bottom, you'll notice that there is a mystery number. So here's how that works. I'm actually going to um, not do that one, so you can do it, but I'm gonna show you a different one. Okay, so this is just a practice one. You don't have to do this. I'm just, I'm gonna do it to show you how it works. So mystery number, can you figure out the mystery number based on the clues. So there's one, two, three, four, five clues. So the first clue is I am a four digit number. So the best strategy for that boys and girls is to write down four places. So one, two, three, four. So I have my ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. I'm gonna put a comma right there. Okay, if it helps you, <clears throat> let me move me out of the way here. If it helps you, you could even put Right, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, okay? So then I go to my next clue, which is the digit in the tens place is five. So here's my tens place, I'm gonna put a five. So I've done that, those two clues. The next clue says the value of the hundreds place is 200. Now I'm not gonna write 200 there, it just means the value is 200. So what, um, digit, right, what digit should I, move that out of the way, should I write there? I should write a two, because the value of that two, since it's in the hundreds place, is 200. Okay, so I did that one. The ones place has no value, it says. So that would be zero. And my last clue, the digit in my thousands place is two greater than six. So what is two greater than six? Eight. All right, so I've done all my clues, and my mystery number is, who am I? I am 8,250, okay? So on your paper, every day this week, there'll be a mystery number, okay? They're gonna get longer as you go, so tomorrow might be five-digit number, and so you're gonna solve this one. There's the same number of clues. It's very similar to the one that I just did, and then when you figure it out, you wanna write down the number that you got to. All right, boys and girls, have fun, do a good job, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.